Yeah, Chuck. It's actually been a really positive experience. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, there are a lot of drivers who are still here, and of course we tried to make sure that they got their cash first. Uh, often they're very large sums because these gentlemen have been with us for many, many years. Uh, but reaching out to the people who have moved on, maybe to another company or maybe they've retired, has been a joy because, of course, it's a surprise phone call. You call somebody out of the blue and, uh, and you hear a familiar voice, and so that brings back a lot of memories. And then when you say, well, I've got a little bit of money for you, um, that sort of gets them excited. And, um, and when you mention how much, sometimes they're extremely pleased. Uh, what's uh, been nice as well is catching up a little bit. Uh, they ask questions about other drivers who are still here. You hear a little bit about what's happened in their lives. And, uh, and so every driver that I talk to is asking about other drivers who they knew when they were here. So it's been a, a really nice experience being able to reach out to people, um, have these conversations, and, uh, and put money in the hands of people who you know, earned that money many years ago, who paid way too much tax and have fortunately received it back. And they're hardworking people. It's nice for them to have uh, this kind of windfall. We're really uh, thrilled to be part of the process. Okay, and Nolan wasn't the only company that was eligible, so what should other owner-operators do if they were driving at the same uh, time period? Any owner-operator who was a cross-border driver between 1991 and 2002 should be going back to the company or the companies that he worked for and ask him if, if they've received uh, a rebate on the excise tax from uh, Revenue Canada as a result of the settlement. If they have, maybe there's a check there for them. And uh, I'm sure that there are ways of finding out which companies did or did not receive the rebate. So, uh, yeah, owner operators shouldn't be shy. They should be uh, contacting um, the companies that they worked for. And if there's anybody who's watching this video who worked for Nolan Transport in that time frame, I'd like to hear from them because it might save me. Um, a lot of Googling and, uh, and calling around trying to find them. Okay.